in action. Hoyas coming off their lone conference defeat of the season, a one nothing Might be in the Hoyas' primary restart taker. Looping ball into the box. Headed away by Johns. Buck from distance. That's blocked and it'll be the first corner of the match. Winger from Zangay. To the penalty spot looking for Jennings, heads down. Nielsen now to Linares. Re-entry to the back post looking for Zangay. Over everybody. Your post ball goes through everybody. Jennings a swing and a miss. Now Buck top of the box. His shot deflected. Good combination play. Zange has it in the box. Zange to his right foot. Across the face. Saved by Dickey. And cleared. And I think Zange caught in between the pass and the shot decision. It was. I thought there was a toe poke right away that Zange could have had as he turned. The opt to take a tongue coach we're talking about is that. And not by a goal. <laughs> Here's John's first time getting forward. Can't keep it in play as Sergeant ushers him out of play. In fact, the, the game on Saturday, the only time this year, Saunders tests Mansky from distance, saw him a little bit off senior captain. Yeah, and it was as Buck gets into the box. It was a Georgetown team that struck Dickey really nothing to do to this point. Good body control by Merle to win a corner. Boy is third of the match. Zange, outswinger to the penalty spot, headed to Linares. Re-entry ball's a good one. Touch. As previewed, cutting inside. Back heel to Zange, is shot and it's blocked. Terrific interplay. It's Vieira with a great back heel. It is, but it's Tabora cutting inside as you talked about. He Looping ball into a danger area, falls to Johns. Left-footed shot, headed just over. And Villanova has the best chance of the match. It was Joseph. Yeah, the freshman, Belmar Joseph, finds himself about six yards from goal. As Georgetown doesn't do well with the marking. I thought Johns would hit that first time. And that is a... Tabora against Cousins, keeps it in play. Tabora tiptoeing the end. Here's Buck. Now Sargent, a shot from distance, big save, rebound, and a block by Brennis. Peretti was denied. What a great save by Dickey, thwarting the effort from Sargent, and good response from Brennis. It's objectives, Tom Greaser. A scoreless first half between the first place Hoyas against the last place Wildcats, but today, the scoreboard on the season. Yeah, the cues are all about innovation, and we need to see some innovation in this match. Very lethargic first half, and Dan. Tabora spins inside for Sargent. Back to Tabora. Tabora still with it. Great footwork, and eventually cleared by Ricci. Here's Tabora. Now Zange. Lays it off for Burns. Now Sargent. Sargent to the end line. Cruyff, right footed, had it straight up in the air. Additional or personnel wrinkles. As a good ball finds Johns, he's in the box with a chance. Deflected and saved. Great tackle by Jennings. Back shoulder run by Johns. And a great ball in your right. Johns highlighted at the top. Local product sneaks. Diagonal ball from Buck. Finds Linares. Looping ball. But Dickey easily. Saunders against Nielsen. Two on five. He'll always want to go left and does and shoots over Mansky. Now Linares. Buck. Good chance for the Hoyas. It's a chance for corner number 11. Wins one in a dangerous spot. Buck has Merle to his left, he finds him. Merle across the face, and just wide. I think that's one, it's a half shot, it's a half service, looking for an own goal, looking for a Zange deflection. It is, but that's the first time today Villanova was caught in a bad spot. They weren't able to get good numbers back. Good swivel of the hips for Merle to try to whip that one across the... Good combination play with better pace for Georgetown. 
Tabor cuts inside, now Zange. Is this the moment? It's Merle, it's a shot and it's a goal! And it's a great goal! It's Zange to Merle, his ninth of the year, and the Hoyas finally break the padlock that Villanova had set up. And what a brilliant finish from Merle. Georgetown's leading scorer has no service at all in most of this match. And the quick cut inside from Tabora to Zenge, and then a great run in behind the back line from Merle. And Zenge is patient with the ball here. Tabora cuts inside. Zenge takes an extra touch here, waits for the run, and it's a perfect ball in. And Georgetown's leading scorer is going to make no mistake. Late run from O'Neill Dawes. There's the first one, one by Petrera. Mansky off his line and 10. Behind Martelli. Howard, good layoff to Peretti. Sargent clips the ball to the back post. Headed away by if we get to have Thanksgiving together. And that's certainly a Georgetown team that has designs on making another run. Physical center back now moved out to the right back position, but it's been fun watching his development the last several years. Great ball. Spring Sargent, a shot from distance and a goal! It's a miracle goal by Kieran Sargent off an assist from classmate Joe Buck. And Sargent's first of the year has the Hoya faithful breathing a sigh of relief. That is a fantastic finish from Kieran Sargent. And what a smile from the junior left back. And we talked about it. Joe Buck picks his head up, spies this run in from Sargent behind the back line. And then Dickey just caught in no man's land. And what a quality finish from Kieran Sargent. stretched. Mansky, ball goes off his chest. He was worried he was out of the box. Meanwhile, Saunders with it. Shot from distance. And the knuckler is saved by Mansky. Not quite clinched, but it'll set up a clinching scenario for Saturday for the Hoyas. Here's Buck. He has Vieira to his right. Instead, he'll go left. It's Howard. Peretti, shot saved by Dickey. And Dickey and, and what a great addition to the conference, adding Akron. Saunders top of the box. Oh, my subscription to Flow Sports seems to. But that Harbin connection does not yield. Martelli, Mansky spills it in the. Senge peels away from traffic. Now Howard across the face. And Syriax. Now Garcia, ambitious effort wide. Yeah, Coach Nolan has done a fantastic job with that women's program. And he always has them. Win as Zange moves forward. Zange has Linares to his left, Tabor to his right. He'll go Tabor, a left-footed shot, and a big save by Kent Dickey. As Tabor looks skyward, he thought he had scored. And another mature play from Zenge allows runners, allows Tabor to get around him. Merle makes a great run, dragging a defender away. And the ball is just on a platter to the left foot for Tabor. And Dickey comes up big. And that's the third. Washington up 1 0 early in that match. At halftime. And then Montez free kick. That won it. There's Merle across the face. Linares is going to chase one down with five seconds to go. He's going to let it go. And it's cleared. And that'll do it. The Hoyas win 2 0. Goals by Merle and Sargent. Tom Greaser, final thought. Good first half from Villanova. Organized. The quality of Georgetown wins out. Jacob Merle, who we highlighted at the top.